Of course, the inauguration of the 46th president of the United States will look a lot different than years past. So joining us live to talk more about what we can expect is WMU Cooley constitutional law professor Brendan Berry. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Well, let's first start off. Uh, in your opinion, what do you think will look the most different between this inauguration as opposed to others? There are two things. Uh, I actually think it's going to look uh, uh, pretty uh, you know, usual for people who are who have seen a lot of inaugurations. The two big differences are going to be uh, number one, we already knew there w was not going to be a big crowd because of the pandemic. But the second big difference now would be the level of security that that people see uh, because of the uh, insurrection that happened at the Capitol uh, two weeks ago. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think you're you're going to see the the normal uh, pageantry. Uh, you know, uh, the absence, obviously, the absence of the president uh, from the inauguration is notable. Um, this would only be the fourth president uh, ever to skip uh, an inauguration uh, and the first in 152 years. So that'll look kind of strange uh, not to have the uh, sitting president there. But the president, uh, vice president will be sworn in and the pre new president will be sworn in. You'll have the, uh, I, I anticipate you'll have the uh, hail to the chief playing and the uh, cannon salute, uh, just like we're used to seeing, but no, no crowd uh, or a very limited crowd and a lot of security. Now, I know we only have a little bit of time left to talk with you, so I just want to give you a chance. Is there anything else that you just want to say about, you know, what's to come in the coming days or anything else um, that you'll be watching for today? Anything you'd like to add? Yeah, the, the first uh, order of business uh, for the new president is going to be getting his cabinet uh, in place. Uh, and that's going to be tricky uh, because uh, the Senate has been uh, slow uh, to have hearings. And, uh, you know, there, there's been an objection to one of the uh, 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 appointees uh, from Senator Josh Hawley. Uh, so that's going to uh, stretch out the, the uh, time that's required to do this. But uh, you're going to see executive orders flying starting uh, at noon today. And uh, you're going to see a lot of busy work in the Senate uh, trying to get Secretary of State, Homeland Security, Secretary of Defense, you know, the really key people that you have to have in place uh, to get those people uh, around the table uh, so that uh, the, the new administration can start to function. All right, Brennan, thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.